today we will be starting our Spiti expedition. There are six jeepers, five of us from Kolkata and one from Naida. Uh, three of the jeepers are already in Kalpa and uh, we will be meeting them. That is two of us who started late and one of the jeeper from Noida will meet us in Nako. So we are starting for Kalpa at 10.45. We can see snow-capped mountains at a distance. So today we will be passing through Narkanda, Jeori, Rampur, Kowari on to Kalpa. Kalpa is 213 km from here and will roughly take 6.5 hours. This is NH5. It's the same road that brought us to Kufri. just past a point where a gravel road on the left goes downwards towards Chostelex and on the right side there is a sharp right turn going upwards. Lovely weather, not a drop of cloud in the sky. Crates full of apples which are being loaded on the trucks and they will take them to the markets. Continuing on NH5, 190 kilometers to Kalpa. This is Matiana. It's a small town. Arkanda is 16 kilometers. Apple orchards on the side of the road, you know, on the mountains. The nets covering the apple trees. This is, I think, to prevent deep well. We are nearing Narkanda. Turn left. Left, uh, we can go to Rikongpyo, Pu, Rampu. So, this is Narkan. So we are crossing Narkanda at 12 noon. As we move towards Kalpa, snow capped mountains becoming more visible than ever. Just look at the awesome landscape of Narkanda. It's dotted by pine and cedar all over. We have been to Narkanda in past uh, when we have been to Hatu Peak. Uh, and Narkanda is always a great place to be in. We are at this place called Kumar Sen. Rampur uh, is 47 kilometers from here. This is Kingal. Maybe 35. So one hour to Rampu. along rivers 
सतलेज ऑन द लेफ्ट हिमाचल टूरिज्म ऑपरेटेड कैफे वी वुड लाइक टू टेक आवर लंच देयर स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम रामपुर आफ्टर वन आवर फिफ्टीन मिनट लंच ब्रेक ट्रैफिक जैम इन रामपुर रोड वर्क इज बिंग डन यस We topped up fuel from a BP petrol pump just after Rampur and started again at 3:43 p.m. 99 kilometers from this point there's a storm alert. There is a snow storm warning as well in Kazan 1819. So we don't know uh, like uh, what, what its impact the... is going to be. Yeah. Right uh, now our plan is to top up at uh, Powari which is about 20 km ahead of Kalpa and that's the last fuel pump before Gaza we have with us 25 liter of fuel in jerry can in case due to storm uh, the tankers couldn't come to Gaza then that will be useful so a lot of things are fluid if that storm storm comes wow this landscape looks nice Jeori and if i remember correctly uh, this monsoon jeori had been in news for some kind of landslide yes, so we have crossed jeori aage patthar gir rahe hain welcome to kinnor welcome to kinnor we are in shimla district now we are in kinnor देवभूमि किन्नौर में आपका स्वागत है जिला प्रसाद नाउ वी आर फॉर्मली एंटरिंग किन्नौर डिस्ट्रिक्ट 73 किलोमीटर रिमेनिंग टू कल्पा We are passing through Bhabha Nagar now. It's 5:30 p.m., almost uh, sunset time, and we are about 54 km from Kalpa. The storms we chase are leading us, and love is all we'll ever trust. Yeah, no, I don't want to waste what's this Wangtu. 
the bridge over Sutlej on the left. And there is a road being constructed from Wangtu to Gaza, which will save a lot of time. I'm not There's sure. There's a Heidel project in Karcham, Karcham Wangtu Heidel project, 1000 yeah. megawatt bus bar. So, the bridge in Karcham over the Satlej River will take you to uh, Sangha. In Karcham, you also see the confluence of Satlej and Baspa. We are crossing Satlej River now. Snow-capped peaks at a distance that may be a part of Kinder Puyla Shrine. Mountain with snow-capped peaks, uh, out of the world landscape, river, excellent tarmac road. Overall, a great experience indeed. Melodies we haven't played. No, I don't want no rest. Echo in around these walls, fighting to create. the last fuel pump at Kowari before Kaza. Reached our hotel at Kalpa at 7 pm, met the entire team and then called it a day. It's 12th noon, 15th of October. Today is Vijaya Dashumi or Dasera, and we are starting from Kalpa to Napo. So now our plan is to fuel up a little bit, uh, either from Rekongpio or Pawari. One of our friends is also coming at Pawari. We, uh, he will join us. That will make us a convoy of uh, six and then we will be going to Kiabong, Ropa Valley and from there Napo. That's the plan. It's about 9500 uh, altitude I think. Marvelous view of snow-capped mountains on the left. Beautiful winding road amidst pine forest. I couldn't see it last night but this morning it's visible in its full glory. Gradually coming down towards Rekong view. This is the IOCL petrol pump in Rekong Pio. Uh, there is no fuel, so we have to go to our uh, last petrol pump, uh, Pawari. The reason Pawari is called the last petrol pump before Kaza because uh, no one comes up to Rekong Pio if they are going directly to Kaza or speak. Starting for Giabong at 1.50 pm from Pawari fuel pump after filling up fuel and one of our friends also uh, joined us. Uh, probably we will stop for a lunch break somewhere between and then go to the Giabong. towards Rekong Pio and Kalpa. We have uh, 
taken the right one which goes straight to Kaza. As we move towards Nako, the landscape is changing, less greenery and more rocky. Who is 60 kilometers from here? We are supposed to take a left turn after 43 kilometers. I think that is the turn towards Kiabo. to BRO for maintaining this road so well in spite of such difficult conditions. This is a shooting stones area. One of the many areas where you have to drive very carefully considering shooting stones. Big view of light and shade. There are few bad patches, but overall road condition is very good, quite impressive, and in fact, it's way better uh, than uh, what it used to be few years back. So we are now completed our lunch. We take in a lunch. one and a half hour lunch break. And it's 3.30 and we are continuing till Giabang Rupa Valley. We must be crossing Satlej again, right? The speciality is that the small villages uh, contains a population starting from maybe as low as 30 going up to a max of 100. town and often it's said that you get network up to Spilo after Spilo if there is problem in getting network. A uh, lot of shops where you can buy essential things. Yobang Rupa Valley point is another 26 kilometers so after 30 kilometers we have to make that left. So this is a shooting stone area you have to drive very carefully. In this season this is October so there won't be much but still you have to be very careful as often this might crack your windshield and if it's a bigger stone it might uh, cause damage to you and your vehicle that's why people are manning this area Six 
On the way to Giabong and Ropa Valley now, which is about 13 km from the Tani. towards Nako. Now we'll go straight. The road right is the road from where we came. 6.27 pm now and we are passing through two village which is a very important village. Reached Kinnar Camps Nako at 7.40 pm after a harrowing parking experience. 